Well, any pastor who's being faithful to the Bible knows that um, his people are struggling. And he knows that his people are living in a culture which is pressing on them to do something different than what the Bible says. And you don't have to look very far to see that within our churches, you, you can see that people have been shaped by the spirit of the age. Um, divorce is rampant among those who call themselves Christians. Immorality, premarital sex, adulteries, all of these things exist among those who name themselves as Christians. And so our churches, pastors in particular, have a responsibility to preach the Bible to people, to, to preach in such a way that people would be sanctified and formed into the image of Christ. And one of the lies of current culture is, is that, well, you can sort of have your own religious life and have your personal piety, but your sexual life sort of cut off from uh, what you owe to Jesus or what belongs to Jesus. The Bible is, it doesn't speak that way. The Bible says that all of life is to brought, be brought under the lordship of Christ. In fact, the Apostle Paul says in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, when it comes to the gift of sexuality, he says, glorify God with your bodies. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? So all of our lives are to be brought into subjection to the word of God. Pastors have a real responsibility to preach in such a way that people understand what the Bible says and so that they can live and obey.